Hi everyone. It is early in the morning. It is 9:12, and Thrifty USA just opened up behind me at nine o'clock. So I want to get in there and see what they put out during the week and hopefully we can get in there before anybody else does and see what they have. So let's go. Well, we are so early they're vacuuming. Um, let's look over here first. This usually doesn't have anything great. Oh, here's a box. Let's see what this box is. Oh, it's got some kind of goblets. There's that. It's going to mismatch lid, or I don't think the lid goes with that. I don't even know if the saucer goes with it. Maybe. Okay. There's no one in here, so I feel more comfortable talking. Well, this is pretty, but I just don't want to do depression glass. I mean, there used to be a market for it. It just seems like not so much anymore. So a lot of this is the same. That's new, but again, I don't want to... I gotta be careful what I get because I've noticed on eBay the things that I think people will buy, eh, not so much, but they will that stuff will sell eventually. But the things that people that I don't expect people to buy, they buy. Which is just interesting to me. Like there's some pink. Why isn't this pink? I'm gonna move this over. Doesn't this match it? Yes, I don't think they go together, but let's put them together. Now, this pink is not, yeah, there's a different pattern. I don't remember the patterns, but anyway, that's really, really pretty. It's $9.99 for the plate and $8.99 for the bowl, and not really worth more than that. So, all this clear glass is pretty, but... Then they have all this yellow over here. Lots of it. There's a yellow vase. It's kind of pretty, but it's not special. These three pieces have been here forever. Mm, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Maybe I've bought everything. Now, this carnival bowl has been here for a while. A 29, and there's no way. It's really pretty iridescence on it. It's really pretty. It's a grape leaf pattern. I think I want $30 for it. So, there's two pieces over in the cabinet. I'm hoping they're still here, and I'm hoping they have some new stuff in the cabinet. Yeah, a lot of this is the same. I keep seeing this thing in the video, and I keep going, why? I don't ever look at that. What is that? It says, yes, it works. No, you can't touch it. Please ask for assistance. It's a rare, rare Della Deal craft. It's like a phonograph player. It's really interesting looking. Very mid-century modern to me. $8.99. Canada in 1965. I mean, look at that thing. It's pretty massive. Okay, oh, looks like my pieces that I wanted to look at are gone. So, let's see what's in here. Today may not be our day. There's that thing in the back has silver overlay and there are glasses to match. And it looks like they're older. Again, they want 40 for that. It's a green thing in the back. And then here are the little glasses, I think. That would match it. And they're $8.99 a piece. So that thing would be a fortune. I don't know why they have it split up like that. Um, I don't know what that picture says. It says something from Robert. But I don't know what else it says. But I'm probably not interested in that. Oh, I'm sad. We got here early and I don't really see anything. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have some luck. Maybe they move some stuff around. They tend to move things around quite often. Oh, that's pretty, but it's $14.99. I don't know what it is. The little long, long dish. 
Um, there's the Beatrix Potter characters, I think. This is pretty. It's a heart. It's probably modern. The fish back there. They're cute, and they still have the one bowl for $9.99. These paperweights. I don't know anything about paperweights. Look at the rooster back there. Oh, he, they want 40 for him. Okay. Hummels. I'm not doing Hummels. This is all the same. Dinner sets. Not doing dinner sets. Okay. Let's see what's in this last one. Yeah, it's all the same. Some Lennox pieces up here. Okay, the cabinets aren't going to do it for us today. Let's go look over here on the shelf and see what they have. There's that chamber pot. I really like that. I'm going to pick it up and see if there's anything on the bottom. I don't want to ship that, though. Okay, it says made in China on the bottom. It's old. I'm going to give it that. The handle's been repaired over there. It's got crazy all over it, but I'm not interested in it. Okay. Well, I'm cleaning up on something. Let's see. This room is very hard to maneuver, Cardin. Well, I'm not just seeing a whole lot. Look at this biscuit jar. Made in Japan. It's missing the handle and its lid. So I'm going to put that back. I probably want a fortune for it. Seven hundred. Yeah, it's not a great scene either. Okay. Now some people are in here, so. Be a little quieter. I don't know what this is. This is interesting. It almost looks like a costume or something with a shirt. What are these? Collectors porcelain armor in our car. There's a lot of them. Mm, what is this? Bavaria. It's pretty. I just don't know. Oh, it's got a chip there. I'm not going to do it. It's pretty though. And of course, it doesn't have a creamer. What's this? I don't know what that mark is. I'm not going to buy any more of these pictures. Here's a smaller one that looks just like that one. It's Japan. What is this? That's pretty. Four ninety nine. That is really pretty. I might grab that. So look at that. It's got the moriage and the gold. Um, I can't tell if the lid has any chips, but that thing's gorgeous. It's not marked. Okay, I think I'll get that one for $4.99. I'll put it right there for now. Okay, everybody's left now. Mm, salt and pepper shakers. I think they've been here for a while.
Not really seeing it. What is this plate underneath? Here? No. Look at this. What is that? Let me see this. It's, it's with that right there. I try not to break anything. It's heavy. Oh. Not for food. Well, yeah, and they have stuff locked up. Okay. Okay. Oops. Let's pick this up. I don't know if that's hand painted or not. However, it is Bavaria. I don't know. What do y'all think? How much do they want for it? I guess that's what four ninety nine. Let's put it in our cart and let it ride around with us for a little bit. Oops. Now then, I saw something else. Let's look at this real quick. This is Limoges. Let's look at all th four, three of these. Is it pretty though? I think it's pretty. $3.99. Let's see what this big one is. Like something you put on your dresser. Josh Bach. Joseph Bach. Two ninety nine. There is a chip. I don't think I want anything with chips in it. Let's see what this bowl is. So this is Dresden. Bavaria, do we have any chips? Mm, let's see how much they want for it. A dollar forty-nine. We'll take that. Okay. Let's we'll check out that ball here in a second. Let me put this down. Okay. We're gonna have to rearrange that here in a second. What is this one? That's Nor Harmony House. Okay, no. This is really cute, but this one's not marked. And I don't know if they're trying to say it goes with this. This has got a big crazy mark on the back. Okay, let me just glance one more time. This is... with the bird on it, but I don't I I put these like down here and just okay um, yeah Andrea I can't write it but I'll leave that here Is Fenton, English bone china. How much is that? Four ninety nine. I don't know how this does. It's so weird not to see clear glass where that's Fenton. I think this is the bowl. But for some reason, they want nineteen ninety nine for this thing. I don't know why, and it's not marked. And it's pretty. It's the pond, but it's not great. Is that someone's gum? Okay, I think we're done in here. Okay, I am going to have to compete with the vacuum. You know, 
It's 4.99, I'm just not sure. I mean, it looks old, but I just feel like people don't want this kind of stuff. I've got one listed and no one even looks at it. Okay, let's see what else is here. A lot of the same stuff. What is this? Oh, it's chipped right here. But it's really, really cute with the wheat. Oh, is that a more modern? Portugal. It's really cute. It's got a couple of chips on it. seeing too much. Let's see what they have up here. They usually try to put some of the butter stuff up there. Okay, we have a couple other places to look in here. So let's look on this side. Let's see what they put out up here. Um, well, we'll do it in sections. That's interesting, but I'm not interested in it. A lot of dish sets and everything. Okay, let's look over here. There was this Nippon ball. I looked at this for a second. I just... I don't think it's interesting enough. This is really pretty. There's a pink spray. Avalon. They've got some serving pieces. And they've got some other pieces. Big pieces, they want $59.95, I don't think so. What is it called? I could look it up on my phone. Pink spray. So they have 63 pieces for Okay, I'll look that up on my phone and see what it goes for. There's not really anything. Let's see. Oh, that is the other place. Maybe, maybe if I look at this one. Could you do me a favor? Could you get that down for me? Yeah, the one on the end? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the plate for it. I still want to it down for me. So let me, let me go get it real quick and see what it looks like with the... What? With the plate. Okay. What do you think? I think it's better now. Let's see, $3.99 for the bowl. And $1.99 for the plate. So we'll take those. Oh, God. Please, go. Oh. I don't want to ever look at that plate again. Let's see, I keep seeing this in the video. Yeah. They have, tend to hide plates back here too. Not a good place for them. Okay.
Okay, this is another little area that could potentially have some stuff. I just noticed these. It's a salt, they're salt and pepper shakers. This one says made in Denmark, has a name on the bottom. This one's not as clear, and for some reason it looks a little worse for wear. I don't know what happened to it. The salt maybe did that to it. But for $1.99, I might grab those. Hmm. In here. This one looks terrible, but they're super unusual. Now, what is this? Is this for powdered sugar? And painted Japan. It's just not that pretty. These are funny. Those are kind of cute. All the controversy going on right now. Dollar ninety nine each. I might grab this. Okay. What I can't let happen is to get caught up in the mall and start buying just a bunch of knickknack stuff, which I did before. It's easy to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay. Not a lot here. Yeah. I don't see anything else I'd be interested in. And then there's some stuff in the wall over here. Okay. Okay, we're going to come over here. This is where that, it was like a Roseville or something with a frog and the lollipads. It's gone. Someone grabbed that right up. I don't see anything else over here. Oh, he's got his beak is gone. Okay, still competing with the vacuum cleaner, but I didn't show, I might keep these for myself, if I get them. They're two watercolors, and I'm pretty sure they're real watercolors. But it's Jean Ives Cox, they're $30 a piece, and they're, they're homes here in the area that he's painted, or she's painted. So I guess that is a woman spelling J-E-A-N. I'm going to look her up, but I really like these. This one's like a snow. This one this one does say on the back that it's a house, and Norfolk, Virginia has the um, address for it. It'd be interesting to see if it's still there. This one does not have anything on the back, or at least maybe this is covering the back. And there is something written on it. I'm not sure. Same artist, though. They're 30 a piece. I don't, not crazy. They probably need to be reframed. But I really, really like them. Okay, last area. This kind of knickknack stuff. And I'm not really seeing anything. I've got a whole set of this. I can't, what is this? Friendly Village? I can't remember. Made in England. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Or something like that. Johnson Brothers, The Friendly Village, yeah. I haven't seen that and surprised I remember the name, but they have tons of it down here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to do a voiceover for this area because the music was really, really loud.
but this is kind of some knickknack stuff and I found this little trinket box it's Fitz and Floyd it says 1983 on the bottom I think it's called the bearded iris or something like that the the flower on the front um, so I decided to go ahead and grab that since they only wanted 99 cents for it I thought I'd take a chance everybody likes a cute trinket box That is a dress that I end up putting back. It was really pretty, but really heavy and beaded all over. So just kind of looking around. I've bought enough trinket boxes recently that I, the last thing I need is any more. I really like that, but it was all broken. I mean, the, the petals were broken. It was, if that was not broken, I probably would have taken it. I didn't know what that was. That was interesting. It had a weird lid. Gentle rain. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I think I've picked that up in the past. And just looking at the glassware, a couple of times I've found some Murano glass, drinking glasses, that um, now I keep my eye out for those. That was the silver overlay, but I've got, well, that one says 25th anniversary on it. But I have several pieces of that and no one's interested in it. So I don't plan to buy that. And it has to be very, very unique for me to buy it. And here are a couple of martini glasses. They look like they were hand blown. I liked them a lot, but one of them, I was, I wanted both. I liked the green one. I saw the red one, but the red one says the name of the vodka or whatever. And so I decided that I didn't want it. It is advertisement, but I really didn't want it. And then I didn't want to just get one. So I put them both back. I probably should have grabbed them, but Someone had a candle on that one, I think. And not too much more there. Royal Co those Royal Copenhagen plates are everywhere. <laughs> I don't think probably very many bu people buy them anymore or collect them anymore. But let me know if you ever want them. They're everywhere. Oh. Okay, that's it for Thrift USA today. I think I pretty much have picked that place over, but hopefully they'll be able to restock here soon because it is my favorite place to go to. I spent $103.12 which 60 of that I'm going to keep for those two watercolor paintings. Okay. If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you know when new ones are going to come out. I really like making them. I'm enjoying myself and, and can't wait to see you again. Okay, bye.